Do you know about the dangers of Zoloft? Here are some key facts that you should know about sertraline. Sertraline is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor and is commonly used to treat mental health illnesses such as premenstrual dysphoric disorder and social anxiety. For those under 18, it is only approved to treat OCD. There's been an overall rise in the last 15 years in the amount that Zoloft is being prescribed, which is why it is important for you to know the pros and cons of taking Zoloft. Some of the general side effects include nausea, diarrhea, and insomnia reported by 20% or more of people in the clinical trials for Zoloft. One of the most important side effects to be aware of is the increase of suicidal tendencies in adolescents. This risk seems to decrease with age, but after studying 22 clinical trials with nine types of SSRIs, the senior FDA epidemiologist, Dr. Andrew D. Moshulder, concluded that children on antidepressants were 1.9 times more likely to become suicidal. This led to the FDA black box warnings being put on SSRIs, including Zoloft, which warned about the risk of death that comes with taking the medication. Although there is no evidence that Zoloft is addictive, because of its mind-altering qualities, some people have become dependent on it to get through their everyday life, and about 20% of people who stop taking SSRIs go through SSRI withdrawal syndrome, which lasts for up to three weeks. Many times, this syndrome includes a rebound of depression and anxiety, as well as other symptoms. People who stop Zoloft often need to be tapered off of the medication so that the brain can safely adapt. Serotonin syndrome, or serotonin toxicity, is also an issue that increasingly is being recognized in medical diagnosis and research. Often when mixing SSRIs with MAOIs, tryptins, or SNRIs, it can cause an excessive amount of serotonin in the brain. Extreme cases of serotonin syndrome include delirium and fever. Serotonin syndrome progresses rapidly, and those affected by it should be sent to a hospital as soon as possible. Thank you for tuning in to the risks of taking Zoloft, and remember to do your research or ask your doctor about any side effects when starting new medications.